Hey everybody, my name is Gadam welcome back from the video of Mythic Ocean. We're back, boys, with some more videos of this. Uh, we uh, are gonna go ahead today and explore the Mid Seas, which is a brand new region that Omar uh, uh, interacted with. Well, he hasn't really interacted with it, so he basically showed it to us. He told us uh, you can go there, but I'm not gonna go there. All right. So, well, we'll visit that one, but also there's two different things I wanna also do. Two different portals I can get, boys. Uh, look at that. There's a portal right there. It's another one right here. There's two of them. So I want to get both of them. So we're definitely going to get those two. That's two guaranteed pages that I can get easily right there. So I'm definitely going to get those. Uh, where's the page at right here? Now I got to find the page over here. Oh, there it is. It was really hidden. Pretty big time. It was hidden really high up. But I got it. So it's era four. Now I got to get it. A sporter, right? Unless, oh no, so we're just getting into the next era. Okay, so everyone is being watching now. Oh, watch now. The creators AI are everywhere. Technological uh, marvels allow the mortals to visit stunningly real realistic virtu virtual worlds. But the creator is tracking their behavior even in this dissimulated spaces. There's no escape from this surveillance. Interesting. So they're getting surveilled big time. Uh, skip some of the story right here because there's a page in between the two uh, that I've got right here Okay, that's it So I've got one I've got one page right here Which brings in me at three out of ten pages that I need as soon as I get the ten pages boys I'm giving it to uh, the snake. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the portal right here again Got another portal right there Easy enough man. They're giving me all the portals. I do have to find the other one Oh, there it is. I found it. So it's all the way over here, boys, in that sh uh, in that shelf. Let's see. Section 3. So from section 1 to section 3. Okay, so we're skipping some stuff right here. Unanswered questions. There's a secret place in this world where mortals are sent. They go be uh, they go because they're broken to they've broken the creator's rule. Uh, one too many times that they don't come back. They do a different kind of work there. The creators the creator won't tell me any more than this. Very interesting. Okay. So that's what's going on. I might be one of those that breaks the rules a little bit too many times. I'm not too sure if that's going to be the case or not. Uh, is there any other pages that I can see? Not really that I think of. I've got two out of three. And it does tell me that there's new creatures I can interact with in the coral reef. Which is over here. Uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to uh, interact with the uh, mid sea. The problem is... With the sonar system, you can only see the fishes. If you go into the sonar system, you can actually not interact. You can't see the uh, the portal, so you cannot be in the in the portal situation. Oh, hold on! There's one of them right there. He's got it. There we go. The dolphin had it. The dolphin literally had the last one, the last uh, portal. I got it, boys. All right. So you just gotta look around, I guess. Uh, maybe fishes, different fishes, different people are gonna get those portals for you. All right, there it is. To the three pages right off the bat that I needed from this place. So uh, the mortals aren't allowed ownership of their ideas anymore. Uh, all new inventions, uh, inventions and processes are to be developed by the creator and their closest uh, associates only. I know people who wish to fight this, but they're too scared. The consequences will be too severe. I can't blame them. Sounds like the gods are a bunch of jackasses, to be honest. It really does sound like that. It sounds like they don't. Uh, nobody likes to be under these, uh, or liked to be under these gods. All right. So it looks like yeah, I've got all ten pages, uh, all ten uh, relationship, and all three pages from this place alone. So I've done pretty good right now. I don't have anything else to do uh, over there. That region is pretty much uh, completed right here. Okay, well, I guess if I go back to the snake now, because now I've got five pages out of ten. That's not the main reason as to why I'm here, though. I want to see what did that do. Okay, so you can see. So yeah, five pages. Look at that. These are the five pages right here. So that's the interaction, I guess. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, wait, no. This is just the missions I'm doing. I've been doing. So there's still two more missions with Omar. I, I imagine that's what it's telling me. Same thing for the children and for uh, for Larma. Okay. 
So there's a bunch of still a uh, couple of missions I can do. Uh, eight. Over here, there's uh, lots of new people I can interact with. Let me go interact with them. And plus, also at the same time, there might be a, uh, a portal, right? Is there? Yeah, there's three pages I can unlock from this region alone. Might uh, try and spend some more time over here. Oh, uh, there's one of the portals right here. Uh, these portals are actually getting um, easier to find. They're a lot easier to find now for some reason. All right, Era Rush Section 1, the beginning. We got the very first page. At dawn on the first day of the new world, I asked the creature about their plans. They tell me I want my world to guarantee the safety of all mortals. Seems like a good place to start, but I wonder if they really realize how difficult this will be. Okay, so we got the first page of the book. Interesting. All right, we got to keep looking around. I mean, these are getting a lot easier. They're literally getting a lot easier. Oh, look. I think I need all these pages easily. All these pages easily. Just another one right there. All right, there we go. Let's get that other page. They're really easy to find now. For some odd reason. I don't know how that's uh, possible, but... A civilization is growing around us. The creator comes to me for advice. Which is more valuable to the mortals. The freedom to do as they please. Or the peace of mind in, in knowing they are protected. I sprung with my own question. Does providing one mean you can't afford, uh, offer the other? I, no, it doesn't mean that. You can offer multiple people uh, stuff. From my op own opinion. Alright, so now we got two. That brings us to seven out of five. Uh, out of ten, boys. We just need two more. Uh, two, uh, three more. And one of them is still to yet, uh, as yet to be uh, unlocked. So I can probably find it, um, to be honest. Let me interact with these um, sea creatures, though. Used to live with my flock in mid-seas. Then a few of us left for warmer waters. I ran out of energy and got left behind. Guess this is my new home now. But you know what? I think I'm gonna, it's going to be okay. Okay, so this guy was one of those that uh, lived in the deep seas, I see. I've been thinking about traveling alone since you were here before. Starting to think maybe it'd be fun to try it for a while. I bet you get into the into fights a lot less when you're alone. And there's more food for you if you don't have to share it. Interesting. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, did I ever tell you about the creature I once saw here? Big, regal, ill-like, bold and beautiful. Nothing bad to say about them. Give them my fondest regards if you ever see them. Oh, he's talking about Elil? Probably, right? All right, what about... Oh, wait. What is this guy doing here now? Oh, it's another one. Yikes, you scared me there. I'm a little more skittish than most sea cr cucumbers, if you can tell. Well, then me to scare you. Seems like a good survival instinct. Keep at it. Thanks. You need some uh, some move out of there. Uh, out of the way, though. Uh, I gotta be on the lookout uh, for real danger here. So how many... I need to interact with one more. Uh, I guess this guy right here is the other one. Just recently I saw another eel here. With golden fins and scale the color of a storm you see. But wouldn't you know, I couldn't get a good read on them by their smell. I didn't know what to, uh, what to make of it. It was truly a first. So he, didn't, he, he, he couldn't figure it out, uh, figure out the smell. Well, you, what do you know, boys? Okay, so I do have... So I have interact with... I thought I interact with everybody. There's these guys again. These creepy guys. You see that big bright, uh, bright disc up in the sky? That big disc hanging up there? Looks tasty, doesn't it? Looks like a good snack. I want to eat it. Bring back that big tasty, tasty disc. Uh, that's the sun. I can't bring that to you. Fine. It'll come down eventually, right? If I wait here long enough, it'll fall right into my mouth. Oh, this guy's creepy. You know, I don't like these. I don't like these guys. And I can't figure out... Yeah, I cannot figure out for the life of me where would be the uh, the third page. Can't figure it out, boys. So we're gonna have to... I'm actually gonna interact with the uh, the heel, uh, with Elil. Maybe uh, he's got an idea as to where I might find the, the third page. Maybe he's got it himself. Uh, let me see really quick with him. Maybe he's got an idea or something. 
All right, so uh, what? I got brand new stuff. I had a strange vision. It looked like one of the gods appearing among the stars. Yeah, I did have that. Yeah, you've always gotten one of those. They seem to hint at which god's gonna be the next creator. So you mean to tell me the kids should be the next creator then? Because that uh, I dreamed of them. Which one did you see that time? I it was Kittery and Esty. Oh, the twins, huh? They're on an unpredictable pair. There, there's kindness in them, but there's a lot of chaos too. Always hard to tell how their uh, world ends up. But hey, it's still early in the game. Someone else might pull ahead. I don't know about that one. I'm getting real close for the pages. Are you a god like the others or not? Oh, okay, so are we... How will the god who creates the world be chosen? So I spoke to Amar uh, about how uh, to give uh, Ketri and uh, Estri some advice. Oh yeah? how it go? Well, Amar had the, had, the, had the idea to tell the twins what it's like to take care of the Kel Forest. I thought it might be a good lesson. Right, gotcha. Uh, do, you, uh, do you think they listen? It's hard to tell. Sometimes kids don't seem to be paying attention, but I think it's good to, if they hear the right things anyways. I see where you're coming from. Uh, maybe Amar was a little too straightforward about it, you know? Sometimes an embellished story that wraps your idea in something more exciting is the best way to go. Now that I am an expert or anything, huh? I want to ask you about the gods. Alright, let's talk about the crown. I've decided to make you the crown. You have enough. I got seven. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so I don't have anything. He doesn't have any idea. I can't interact with him any more further than this. So, what we're gonna do, boys, is we're gonna end up fast traveling. Um, I guess I'm gonna fast travel to a Mars place, just because I actually have uh, the uh, mid seas that I want to go at. Right. So, I want to go to the mid seas. Let's go. Let's go there right now. I want to interact with this brand new place. All right, mid seas, boys. New region. Let's see what it's all about. We're about to interact with a brand new god and stuff. Uh, new creatures in coral leaf. Okay. Uh, let me see really quick. Okay, so I got nothing here. Lots of strange doors. This is very ominous, boys. Let me see. And lots of lights as well. This is very technological. Not sure what I'm gonna find here. This is creepy. I don't know if that's a building or an actual fish. I think it's a building though. Oh, there's wells out here. Oh, yo. This looks like a place where there's lots of big um, big fishes. There might be a giant octopus in here. Uh, if there's a kraken in here, I'm going to flip my shit, boys. I'm just saying. This might be the new one. This might be the one I've got to interact with. I'm not too sure. Uh, are you the, the supposed god? Let me see real quick. I do not. Whoa, 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 wait. What, what was that? These waters know you. And you know them too. I don't see any portals or anything right here, so we're we're good for now. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go interact with this one first. Wait, loudspeaker. Hello out there. Yes, you. I can see you. If you'd like to talk, please address the loudspeaker near the main entrance. Okay. I'm not gonna talk to you just uh, just yet, buddy. I got other p other fishes to to talk to. Literally. Okay, let me see real quick. There's um, there's a fish right here I can talk to. This is another shark. Oh, this is like a, it's a gray shark. Okay. Uh, Citron is his name. Okay. Hello. Are you, how are, can I help you? A shark? I, I just wanted to say hi, I guess. Well, thank you. See, I'm not used to anyone talking to me. Areas tend to clear out whenever I'm around. Everyone gets nervous, but I'm all all I'm doing is exploring. I'm just curious. Oh, okay. He's not a bad dude at all. He doesn't want to eat anybody. Quite interesting, boys. All right, let me see. There's a there's a big well. There's the other one that I need to interact with right here. Let me see really quick. What is that? That fish I need to interact with right here? That looks like it's another hill. What do you know, boys? Those glowing flowing patterns. Mesmerizing, huh? If you say so. Oh, I certainly say so. They've been there forever, far as I know. I could watch them for hours. And one last fish I need to interact with, which I haven't done. There's one right over there, boys. Let's do that. I don't know what that facility is, but it's a really strange facility, boys. It's not like the others. Definitely isn't. 
Wait, there's um. Okay, so this is the the fish I gotta interact with. Let me see. It's all the way out there, hiding or something. What is that? It's like another escargot or something, boys. Okay, so I do a lot of my best thinking out there, far away from everyone else. It's fun. Go ahead, let your mind wander. Okay. Uh, okay, so I got interacted. I interact with everyone. Okay, so I guess I'll I'll talk to the speaker. We'll see what this um, this place is all about. Seems like an interesting area. I gotta say, so far though, uh, I would give the crown to Larma, boys. Nobody else. I wouldn't give it to the twins. If I have a choice, I I, I would give it to Larma for now. But we'll see about uh, who this guy is. I can't go in there. Wait. Where again? Where did he say I wanted? I needed to speak to the speaker. Oh, over here. There it is. There's a speaker, boys. I think there it is because I can interact with that. Yeah, there it is. That's the speaker right here. All right, let's up. Uh, what's up, buddy? Now then, any particular reason you're loitering uh, outside my lab? It caught my attention. I haven't seen anything like it in the ocean. I'm a bit lost, actually. Uh, no. You know what? It caught my attention. Is that so? Well, can't say I can blame. I can blame you. Uh, this station of uh, of mine is one of a kind. How can I help you, Dan? I'd like to learn about uh, more about this place. I don't really uh, do tours. Much too busy for that. But you're welcome to have a look while I work. Uh, uh, if you look, if you like, you'll just need to let me scan you beforehand. Safety protocols. That okay with you? Okay. I need to give it some thought. How does scamming procedure work? Well, it makes sense. Let's do it. Very good. I'm going to open the fourth door, first door in front of you. Just step in once you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. There we go. So he's just gonna scam me. Perfect. Now stay right there. You won't be able to move during the procedure, but don't worry. It won't take you a few seconds. I hope it's nothing bad, boys. I hope I haven't been trapped or anything. Very strange, boys. Okay, so he scanned me. What is he scanning me uh, for, though? Do you, does he think I've got, like, uh, uh, the stuff that, I need, uh, that I'm hiding? All right. And that teleporter you're carrying, it's one of my old prototypes. Well, no worries. Feel free to keep it. The versions I'm using now is much better. Wait, what? He's the one who created the teleporter, boys. And he's got much better ones. You gotta be shitting me. Anyway, the re uh, scan results are looking good. Congratulations, you're not on an, uh, an obvious threat. I'll open the second door for you. Just follow the tunnels right away. Is there anything I can interact with right here? Doesn't seem like there's a, a whole lot of thing. Okay, so we're about to find out what this scientist is all about. So he created the teleporter. What is all this? There's a chair and everything right here, boys. What is this? This looks like an underground facility, like a submarine and everything. Can I interact with this? What does that do? What did I just press? I don't know what I just pressed, boys. I think I've made a mistake. I may have made a mistake. Hold on. I want to see what this is all about. Can I look into this? This is like a telescope. I, I don't think I can look into that. Okay, so I just simply opened the doors. Uh, can I go into... Okay, so these are just multiple doors. Oh, up top. Yeah, of course. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? At last, we meet face to face. Please, have a look around. There's there's, uh, there's lots to see here. Okay, so this is the uh, the one that... Uh, the, that I needed to interact with. Okay. Look at all these things right here. Wait, what is that? This is the st uh, scanning thing? What is that supposed to be? Okay, so this is just a thing that scans. All these things are they're all the same. Okay, they're all the same, really. They're just scan batteries or whatever. He's collecting a bunch of different, like different stuff and all. I'm not too sure what these do, though. Is it gonna tell me? It doesn't tell me anything. All it does is a bunch of light. Okay. Well, you know what? I've seen pretty much everything. What about this? What if I press this button right here like the other one? What does this button do exactly? Oh, it... Okay, it's like a shield. So you... it um, It's like a protection thing. Okay, I got you. 
All right, uh, let me uh, let me see real quick. What about this button right here? Okay, so never mind. Nothing. Only can you press anything. All right, buddy. Uh, what's up with you? Goodness, I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm uh, Olivia, and this is my humble workspace. And you are? I'm still trying to figure that one out. Ah, the purpose of self-discovery never ends, does it? Wait, did you mean that literally? You really have no idea who you are? Well, pretty much. I've got a few leads, but I'm still uh, piecing at them uh, together. It's true. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still piecing them together. Fascinating. I'm trying to imagine what that would be like. The station I built, the work I do, I do here. These things around anchor me and remind me who I am. Without them, I'm not sure what I'd do. Anyway, I'm glad you made some progress. You said you wanted to know who, uh, more about that the lab, correct? Might I ask why you're interested? Alright, so this place is totally unique. I was hoping I might learn something here about myself or the ocean. You know what? I think that's gonna make me uh, make her more interesting is the fact that I need I'm trying to look for answers about myself and stuff so I'm gonna do that that makes sense if I were you I'd be seeking the same things as it happens I've been trying to unravel the mysteries of our world for a long time I don't have any clear answers yet but I've discovered a lot lo along the way good thing it's all about the journey rather than the destination huh well, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about the lab. Anything I can illuminate for you? Oh, this one might be a really good god, boys. Actually, a research one. Uh, tell me about the uh, huge telescope underneath this room. What, what does it do? Oh, the telescope. It uh, got a way of catching the eye, doesn't it? As you may have noticed, the bottom of the lab has a metal housing to keep the telescope safe. Uh, there's a switch do uh, uh, down there you can use to open and close it. Give it a try sometime. As for its purpose, it's, I built a telescope to see far away things about the surface more clearly. But, but I wanted to try scanning the seafloor with it as well. It's hard to travel down uh, too deep because of the water pressure. Much safer to view it uh, from all the way here. I see, sounds interesting. But uh, how do you see uh, what's on the seafloor when it's so dark down there? Exactly, that's the problem I've had to solve. Of course, you, can, you can't see all uh, uh, at all without light. But I was curious whether anything on the seafloor might be going out, uh, giving off just a tiny bit. Less than my eyes would see even without, uh, with magnification. So I outfitted the telescope with a system to pick up light. Convert it to electricity, then amplify it before turning it back into an image. Okay, so you basically created like some sort of EMV light or something like that. Like, uh... Like uh, night, uh, night lights and stuff. Interesting. And that did the trick. There is something down in the depths that project halo, uh, halos of light. They're very, they're very faint, but there are there. I have no idea what the source is. Still looking into it. Sounds mysterious. Good luck. I'll keep at it. Shall we discuss something else? Okay, so I'm intrigued to know what's down there. I'm scared, but intrigued at the same time, boys. I want to go see that. Uh, tell me about the glowing sheet floating about the station. Uh, tell me about the telescope again. I already know about that. How did you build this place? Okay, so tell me about the glowing sheet floating about the station. Tell me about your research. Have you seen the big pod in the mouse cavern? Yes, I've seen the strange pod. It's a fascinating thing. It even seems alive, doesn't it? I'd like to examine it further, but I've been reluctant to dis uh, disturb it. I found, uh, I found out there's a little bug called Lutra that was living inside it. Really? That sounds remarkable. Would you say it seems safe to go there now? Could I take a few samples in that area of the caves without worry? Lut Lutra seems totally harmless to me. I guess you'll be fine, yeah. Excellent. I'm going to make a few preparations and then I'll be off. Thanks for the information. No problem. I uh, want to talk about something else. Uh, yeah, I want to see about... I want to I wanna know about her research, boys. I'm really interesting, uh, interested about her. I'd, I'd be glad to. Not, too long, uh, not long ago, my instruments picked up some energy signals I, don't rec I didn't recognize. The signals were coming from the deep ocean. Hundreds of fathoms below the lab. Shortly afterward, 
a cloud of strange organic debris appeared in mid seas water. I took uh, some samples of the debris right away. I'd be, I've been eager to study these samples and see whether they're connected to signals somehow, but sadly I've been too sem uh, swamped lately. Well, if you're short on time for this project, maybe I can help. Nonsense. We've only just met. I can't push you out like that. Although, do you know Amar by any chance? Or the twins, Ketri and Esti? Yeah, I know all of them. Good. I've done some various ki uh, uh, kindness from them in the past, and they've all owed me favors. They were supposed to help me around the lab, but none of them have bothered to show up yet. At any rate, I could use an assistant on my current project, so perhaps you could speak to one of them for me. Doesn't matter who, it's a very simple task. It's uh, it's something that I could entrust you? Uh, sure, no problem. Uh, yeah, no problem. Very, It's very much appreciated. Once you're able to convince someone, send them directly here. They'll know where to find me. Oh, uh, sounds good. Want to talk about something else? All right, so let me see. Any other questions? Yeah, what about the glowing sheet floating above the station? Ah, yes. That is my solar cell. Have you wondered what provides the station with power? Oh, it's solar power. Yo, this this one is... Uh, Elitia is really smart, boys. Okay. The answer is the sun. The cell is made of a flexible material covered in solar cells. The top of the cell is as a negative charge, with the bottom as a, as a positive charge. When the sunlight hits the cell, the resulting re uh, reaction creates a flow of electricity between the two layers. Then all I have to do is tap into that flow to power everything. And voila! I see. Uh, thanks for the explanation. Uh, but there isn't much sunlight. There. How does that affect at all? Yeah. There's not a lot of sunlight, actually. Good question. That's the challenge I'm fa I was facing. Believe it or not, the station can move. I can raise it to the water surface or submerge it as necessary. It's a submarine. I knew it. That's what I was. That's what I said earlier, boys. I knew it was a submarine. Ah, the surface. Uh, as the surface, it's easy to capture lots of sunlight. But the deeper you go, the darker it gets, right? So I experimented with many different cell materials to harness solar energy more efficiently. I also had to develop high-capacity batteries to store the power I generate at the surface. Where sunlight is plentiful. Got to think of it, my station is a bit like a well. It can dive to impressive depths, but it also to it has to return to the surface periodically to recharge. Oh, that's amazing, actually. Yeah, I like that. My pleasure. Shall we discuss something else? Uh, I. Uh, she seems to really like me, boys, because I'm asking all sorts of questions about science. Science is like really something interesting to me. Uh, solar cell again? No. So, how did you build this place? Uh, you know what? I, I pretty much got everything for now. Uh, we do have... So, we can either ask Amar or the two twins to help her out. I think I'm going to ask the two twins. I, I prefer the two twins over the over Amar, to be honest. Not too much of a fan of Amar. I want to quickly uh, go down there. Because there is there seems to be something in the depths, right? Uh, we're gonna explore the depths um, in the next video, that's for sure. But I want to see really quick. Just look around and see if if we can't find any portals that are hiding from us. There might be portals around the area, which doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, I can't see anything uh, right now, so I guess there's nothing really for us. All right. So uh, for now, well, I'm, I'm gonna end of the way. So I'm gonna end the video, boys. In the next video, we're going to explore the deep seas. We It might be a very scary, but we're going to do it. And also, we're going to all uh, we're gonna go after that and uh, interact with the twins. Tell them to go and see this uh, other, this uh, Aleotra or whatever. And they're going to interact with each other and uh, so forth and so forth, boys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.